I don't know about you, but uh, I like to travel. And when I travel, I'm taking things like uh, my phone, cameras, portable radios, my drone, and all of those things require charging all the time. So this time we're gonna talk about a couple of new charging options out on the market. I'll take a look at them, let you know what I think. This time on K6 UDA Radio. When I'm traveling, um, you know, my tech doesn't stay at home normally because I'm usually, number one, I'm filming everything. And number two, I like, uh, you know, I like to stay in touch a little bit. I at least want to keep the phone going. But uh, then again, I've got, uh, you know, a couple of cameras that I'm taking with me. I always take a handheld radio. A lot of times I've got my drone with me when I'm not busy crashing it on the table. And to power all that stuff, I carry a lot of uh, a lot of wall warts, a lot of chargers. And over the years, I have accumulated quite the uh, collection of cheap little travel chargers and uh, things to things to keep all my connected stuff connected. This one is the Best Tech Cube um, power strip adapter. The things that I like about this, uh, as opposed to a regular $1.99 uh, power adapter, are the fact that it is a cube. So I could take things that have a, uh, a power brick on them, and I could plug those bricks in. They don't get in each other's ways. There's a little power switch on the top of this unit that lets you control power uh, to the three USB-A and one USB-C uh, charge ports. The 110 outlets uh, have a protector on those, so, you know, little kids aren't going to be sticking their fingers or screwdrivers inside of there real easy. Probably one of the most ingenious or best features that I like about this is the detachable base. In my motorhome, what this allows me to do is place this power cube where I want to use it. And that way I can detach it from the wall. I have full flexibility if I want it to go, uh, if I want the power cord to be up, down, whatever, depending upon the circumstances that I need to use it for. It comes with both a 3M uh, sticky pad for the back and a set of screws if you want to screw it into the wall permanently. Mount it, it is simply push it on and it uh, it's mounted to the wall or whatever you happen to mount it to. Now, using the uh, top mounted USB A and C charging connectors is uh, very, very easy. You can plug all these things in, hit that power cord or the power button and it all turns on and starts charging immediately. When your charging cycle is done, you want to leave it plugged in for whatever reason, you could just simply turn it off and you're not going to be discharging batteries or doing anything that you don't want to do with all the rest of your equipment. Now, like I mentioned before, being able to plug those bricks into the sides of this cube is very, very nice. Uh, you know, normally on those $1.99 power strips, I don't have enough room between the uh, power outlets to plug in two or three different um, power bricks. This one gives me the room for three. Now, having the plug end of this uh, power strip be at a right angle lets you plug this thing into the wall behind a couch under a table, uh, something like that. It drops down very, very slim to the wall, out of the way, and then you could bring the rest of the unit to where you need it. This power supply goes for $27 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now the next one I wanted to talk about is this 
Best Tech uh, Universal Travel Charger. This is an international deal made to uh, plug into damn near every outlet in the world, no matter where you are. It lets you uh, charge up four USB-A devices and three uh, 110 devices. All right, the uh, factory cord on this thing is this two-prong. I don't know what country this thing goes to, but uh, you could plug it into uh, to this multi-adapter here, and that'll plug into a 110 outlet. The two-prong thing, I don't know what it is. I know that one is a 220. In the box, you also get this uh, little travel bag here. Very, very handy for keeping all this stuff together and packed up in a, uh, in a suitcase or your carry-on, whatever you're using it for. Now, the reason I got this and I, I am so excited to try this is the fact that I have burned up so many of these cheap Amazon plugs um, and, and uh, international adapters. I would buy the tiny little cube ones and I don't know how many times uh, I've had them burn up or do something weird when I get to some weird island that I'm scuba diving at. This one, uh, it has a power switch and a fan. Now, the, uh, the fan on this thing does make some noise, which, you know, is it's a little weird uh, coming from a power adapter. But I guess if it keeps the thing cool enough, if it doesn't burn up on my next trip, uh, which is coming up in a couple of months, it will be fantastic. This could be the travel charger that I have waited for. What I guess my favorite thing about this one is the fact that, yes, I could plug in three bricks on the top of this thing and four USB-A uh, charging devices to the side of it, which gives me plenty of outlets to charge all of my batteries, my drones, my radios, my cameras, everything. Again, this is another Amazon find and uh, at 40 bucks for this one, it's not the cheapest one on the market, but I'll tell you what, with the fan and everything, uh, it might just be the one that protects all my gear, and that is absolutely worth it to me. Now, again, I am going to leave a link in the description below for this one, too. Uh, you know what? I hope you guys enjoy some of these non-ham, but kind of ham uh, reviews. All right, my friends, uh, that was a look at a couple of options for power charging and stuff because I know as uh, as our world gets more connected and uh, and we got more electronic stuff we need more power to charge all that stuff uh, what I really liked about the best tech things are is the little switch so when you're done you flip the switch off and all these little devices that use up uh, or that put out more RF than we want in the shack, they turn off, they go away. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you've got a better solution for charging on the go, and I'd love to hear those suggestions. All right, guys, that's all I've got. Uh, if you already haven't hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, thumbs up this video and share it if you can, if you can possibly share this anywhere, please do. That's how we're gonna defeat the new YouTube algorithm because it favors big tech, not the little guys anymore. Uh, if you feel like supporting me, please check out my Patreon or the PayPal. <sighs> I think that's it. I'm Bob, K6GDA. Uh, I'm out of here. 7-3, later. Handheld radios. Whoa, shit. Crashed my drone.